Hi, John here. Today is Friday the 12th of January 2018. I've just watched the news on the Waitangi National Trust. And here it is on Stuff New Zealand. Uh, financial irregular, irregularities spark Waitangi inquiry. Susan Edmonds, last dated 1732, that's 32 minutes past 5 o'clock this afternoon, January the 12th, 2018. And that's the Waitangi Marae. And the point in question here is the Waitangi National Trust that I've been saying <coughs> are fraudulent <coughs> in all of their transactions as a business, the whole thing that I'm taken to task with Ngāti Whātua o Ōrake Trust, Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara Trust and also Waitangi National Trust. That's in question here. It says, I'm going to read it, the Waitangi Treaty Grounds are a popular tourist destination. Waitangi National Trust the organisation that administers the Waitangi Treaty Grounds says an inquiry into is underway into the financial irregularities in its accounts. Dennis McBrearty, acting chairman of the Waitangi National Trust Board, confirmed that an investigation was conducted as soon as the irregularities was discovered by the organisation that had now been passed to the Serious Fraud Office to make its own inquiries. The matter is now with the SFO, Serious Fraud Office, and we will await the findings of their official inquiry. We are un un unable to comment any further pending the outcome of the SFO inquiry. McBrearty said he believed the irregularities were relatively recent and had only become apparent in the last month. It is thought the transactions were in a 12-month period starting in 2016. The problem was picked up during routine analysis. The SFO usually deals with frauds of more than 5 million or with significant public interests. The sum involved in this case is to believed to be less than 5 million, but the SFO became involved because of the high-profile nature of the organisation. There had been no indication how long the SFO inquiry might take. Mr. Brearty, McBrearty, said, the SFO would only say it had picked up the matter. We will not be making any further comment at this time. In the year to June 2016, the trust earned 11.5 million in revenue and had 28.5 million in net assets. So that's the picture there um, of the Marae, and that's one. This is another one, another one from Radio New Zealand. The Waitangi National Trust confirmed today that. An inquiry was underway into financial irregularities. Acting Chairman Dennis McBrearty said an investigation was conducted by the board as soon as the irregularities was discovered and passed on SFO. Mr McBrearty said the trust will now await the findings of the inquiry. And so here's another one from News Hub. See, I watch these all the time. Serious fraud office investigating Waitangi National Trust. This is bad news for Peter Peroni, the chairman of that Waitangi National Trust. I'm saying this uh, out aloud uh, in front of the whole world that I've been picking on this marae for such a long time. That's it across the other side there, the treaty house, and the flag sits up here. Our flag sits on the crossbar here, it should be up the top. Not over here on the side, and the British flag over here, and the New Zealand flag should be here, and the King's flag should be at the top. 
The Serious Fraud Office is investigating the Waitangi National Trust, which manages the Waitangi Treaty Grounds. Waitangi National Trust Board Acting Chairman Dennis McBrearty said the board had discovered financial irregularities. Investigation was conducted as soon as the irregularities were discovered by the organisation, but this had now been passed to the Serious Fraud Office, SFO, he said in a statement. The matter is now with SFO and we will await the findings of the official inquiry. We are unable to comment any further pending the outcome inquiry. So I'm going to say this. It's bigger than the figure they're saying. Just over here. And I'll continue with this video on my likely outcome or, in fact, the extent of the force. It's bigger than anything. It goes right around the world. It's going to affect everybody in the world. Excuse me, it's hot. I've got a fan going over there. And just cool myself off. That's why I'm dressed like this. And I'll tell you what, there's no air conditioning here. And the door wide open and the windows open and Fan going over there, keep me cool. Oh, that's better. That, at least the breeze coming through here. Right. I'm saying this. Peter Peroni, I've accused him of fraud and corruption of the justice system, of that marae, of its history, of its status as corrupted title. I've got the title here for the land there. I'm making this statement quite clear. But I'm holding the title to the Utu Tonga first deed title to all that land that no one can attest to say anything about who they got it from. I'm saying that on behalf of Te Rawaikato Wharehirehire Manukau in Mangatauturi down in Cambridge and the Referee for Manukau, the two missing chiefs from the whole New Zealand history on their documents. It's all got this Waitangi National Trust on it and Ngāti Whātua, the ISIS tribe of New Zealand, that's pitted up against the real commercial landowners that I'm saying I represent as executor of a trust that we put together with Mohi Manakau, Mohi Tamati Manakau, the fourth from Kaipara, Helensburg. So, I'm saying this, I'm shocked. As soon as I saw that on the news, I might see it on take a snapshot of it. Oh no, I can't, I've got the camera on uh, But anyway, it's on the news. It'll, they'll have a video of it at some stage tomorrow. That's because that's just late news this afternoon, half past five. That's come on the news. As news NZ Hub, News Hub. Um, recorded today. So it's like this. There's massive fraud in Waitangi National Trust that stems right through the world. That's the Queen's business. You wonder why John Key took off because he's involved with the Waitangi National Trust in the eight point star that he's wearing. He's come back. Now the whole government is liable. I'm libeling the whole government because of Peter Peroni. I've cited him on these videos. I've cited him creating fraud and corruption inside that marae and I've turned it into a native magistrate court. See? In front of them. And Mari Ravana didn't open the gate the second time on the 28th of October. 2016. He didn't open the gate when I said open it. Right? And he opened it on Waitangi Day of that year, 2016. He opened the gate up for me and we went in. And he was there and Paul Tipene from Kirikiri Police Station was there to represent the police. Wohepa Ipiha, Willie Peta, uh, and Kingi Kaurua. Uh, was there uh, to witness what I did with a native court in there. It's challenging 
Peter Peroni and his Maori iwi trust. The trust is up against the Moai Crown King William IV Trust and the companies I've set up in Britain by Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company as creditor and Nga Tua Ewa Altair Limited Company here in New Zealand as creditor, share companies, both of them, and Moai Crown Private Company and Moai Crown King William IV Trust Private Company under this flag here that's flying on the treaty grounds. They locked it up in the treaty grounds and we had to pay $20 to go and there to see it. They've locked our history away from us and we have to pay to go and see it. Locked it in Ta Tapapa, Te Papa, uh, New Zealand, in Wellington. You've got to pay to go and see, and see that, uh, to see its history as, as recorded in the privacy of what they're doing with it. But I'm saying, this is a citation, I'm using this fraud and the Serious Fraud Office to cite Waitangi National Trust and every other trust in this country that's behind the same scam fraud of corrupted justice system. That means the courts in Auckland and the Ngāti Whātua O Orake Trust Board. Now, the Serious Office better go and look at that account. I'm telling you, they're peeling it off for themselves, their own private investment interests. At the same time, you might as well investigate Ngāti Whātua O Orake and Ngāti Whātua O Kaipara because that's rackets going on up there as well with those trusts and all the treaty claims are going to come into it as well because all their authority is inside Waitangi Marae and Titi Marae and I'm holding on to the book here and it's titled right here to Britain the Whakapapa and the title on this Tahike Marae, not the Waitangi Marae, Tahike Marae, where the money is of Britain and the authority. Now, I've just looked in and checked back on the Commonwealth countries of the world. The British Empire always stated that countries that didn't get a license, a crown license, a king's crown license, to run the country were on their own and countries that pulled away from the British Crown are uh, separated off. That meant New Zealand separated itself and running on its own, making money for its self-interests and not the interests of New Zealand public and in particular the Paramount Chief. Now I'm going to say it like this. The Paramount Chief, like myself, is a king equal. The word Paramount in British law of the land of England, land horse, is a king in any other country. And that includes New Zealand as paramount, is acting king. So that's what I'm acting under this flag as king, equal. When there's no king there operating, we take over. We take over on the contract. This is a contract. The Waitangi National Trust has its contract with the Queen. The Queen is not there. I'm telling you on this, telling you on this video, kid me wrong, prove me wrong, that the Queen is not a seal on this country in Parliament, the Wellington, Beehive, New Zealand Parliament has no seal of the Queen, no seal of Westminster Parliament, and no seal inside Waitangi Marae and its Waitangi National Trust, corporate, private business. Now, this SFO is an organisation outside of the normal 
Ford office because I used it. I used the Ford office to investigate my money missing from probate in Britain, 16 million that people scoff about and say I'm making it all up. No, it's real. I was going to the treasury. They're going, get it. And blow me down. It's all gone from there. The Queen has shipped it out of there. All the money in the treasury, it's nothing there. But she's gone with these thugs, these Maori, Iwi Maori, thug, trusts. Now I'm citing the trust in the Waitangi Marae as being the highest court in the world. That's why I opened it up right under their nose as a Waitangi National Waitangi Marae Magistrate Court. Native Magistrate Court. Waitangi Marae Native Magistrate Court. So I can use it on the people in there, the trust and anybody else running that fraud, corrupted business. Now this is just telltale of the amount they said they turned over for 2016 or 2017, one of the two, um, was 11 million or something. Now I'll just have a look. I'll just I'll check up my figure. I'll just check up what that figure was. Here it says, in the year of 2016, the trust earned 11.5 million revenue and had a 28.5 million in net assets. Now there's more than that. There's more money than that running through that marae. All the Queen's business is running through that marae into the BNZ bank and straight into the BNZ or the BNZ bank, Aorua Bank or uh, over in Britain. Or the Akaroa or the Aorua Bank. One of those two. The Akaroa is South Island, Canterbury, Bishop of Canterbury and that scenario that's going on with collecting the money on behalf of the Queen and the Rothschild banks to the principal and interest of money this country borrows and John Key borrowed money and kept borrowing, they keep borrowing money to keep us in debt. So this is coming to a head now. They're going to knock the whole lot on the head as a contractor to Britain and the British military navy. Okay, so I'm making this point quite clear on the news, citing of record, for the record, that the trust in this country, the Iwi Maori Trust, is an invention of a private corporation company that has nothing to do with us, the citizens or the people of this country, the natural people of this country. It has nothing to do with them. It's a private business running racket. All of the Maori Iwi Trusts and their corporations on Marae that's been taken over by this Crown Corporation in Wellington and Australia. Now it went like this. The British nulled Samuel Marsden's title to make this country a monarch state from Australia and not Britain because they were taking their monarch status from Australia to found this country again through the 1835 part of this flag because already founded in 1834 the British made this flag the flag of New Zealand and the government here caretaker still a caretaker took this flag in 1834 and flipped it into an 1835 Declaration of Independence flag Okay, the Declaration of Independence is not a contract. The 1834 is a contract that was already existed in 1823 with Te Rewaikato Wharehere from Cambridge to Cambridge, England and the Masters through Cambridge University. So these New South Wales thugs went through South Arden, put the Moai statue with the crown in his head in Dunedin and took the Canterbury Church in Wellington to put a Moai there. They put that Moai there and brought it from, Easter, uh, from Chile, um, replica, and put it there as if it's a real one and put the Canterbury Church 
there, and the bishop from there went to the Vatican. I forgot what his name, but he went to the Vatican from there, and that's where I've caught them out. And I've caught them out, I'm citing this, that that bishop that went from Wellington, Church of Canterbury, to, Britain, to the Vatican, and he's there working in the Vatican where the money is, and the money's carted out of here. But the authority has come from Samuel Marston in 1823 in Kaya, that's just up from Waitangi, up towards going up north, uh, not too far from Waitangi. All those places, Kaya and Tahike, Marae, where I'm working with Morris Baker, holding the titles there, and the titles here in this book, this is more or less the titles of British Russell family, from Russell, John Russell, went to England, came Prime Minister of England, took this, took this from here, right, with London here, and Hokianga here. What more can I say? Okay, they came here for logs, curry trees, and gum. And they came on a ship of Edmonty here. Ship here, somewhere, here, with the British flag. And Tahege Marae here. All the Marais, that's the Pohara Marae, that's that. Belong to the Terawakato Wharehere here in Manukau. It's the Pohara Marae in Arapuni, or across from Arapuni on the west side of the Waikato River, going towards Karapiro Dam. Arapuni Dam and the Karapiro Dam before Cambridge. Well, this is where this title is in this book, with this Pakapaka here, to the natives, not to the Maori, to the natives. They made that word Maori up. So I'm just telling you, on this video, the whole business is corrupted fraud. The whole Treaty of Waitangi is a fraud. You might as well throw that in too. The serious for the office, serious for the office of New Zealand. I'm complaining about that as well. I've got Graham Allen, he's an ex CIB detective from Britain, London, e e England, acting for me as private investigator and debt collector. Okay, so he's going to pick, be picking up after I get these documents here, apostolized. I'm still mucking around putting them together, all these documents. And I'm apostolizing this book as well. Pages that matter. And this one. And this one for Hori Takuri and Thomas Baker up in Tahiki, right? And this one, the Cook Street title. Yeah, I'm going on about this Cook Street title here. This, this one's the Cook Street title. Right? Number five here. Yeah, I'm going to number them so that I know and they'll know which one is which. So that's showing the SFO. It'll be online, these will be online, but I'll, I'll, I'll go through them and make a video on all these books before I release them um, to the um, um, Internal Affairs and Foreign Affairs uh, to Britain. I'll, I'll, and those acts of King William IV. And this one here for the Chiti Marae and Waitangi Marae signing of the Native Magistrate Courts, Waitangi and Titi Marae. So, I'm saying this. The same fraud is inside Nasifata O'Raki Trust Board. They change their name all the time. They change their names of their trusts all the time. Same as Nasi Pro. I'm citing them as well. I'm, I'm taking them on. They change their name, name all the time. Again. And Tumutumu Pai, Maori Land Court, Maori Affairs, they change their name too. See? So that's all around this authority inside Waitangi Marae and the Government General. Now, this other thing about fraud, the Ratna Church, where the Government goes from Wellington, they go down, all the parties in, in, in the Parliament, they go to Waitangi, uh, they go to Ratna Church, and get permission for something quite secretive. It's
no secret anymore because I'm saying they go down there to get permission to use Rewhere Manikau's 1862 Native Land Act that was created from Rogan, a land agent, sold, bought the land on behalf of the Crown Corporation, and that's this is this is the fraud that the Australian government and New Zealand government is using Rewhere Manikau as their agent, as their as if they own him. No, I'm saying I'm the executor of his trust. Mohi Manuka and I put the trust together for him and Tera Waikato Whare here is Manuka. It's in this title here. I've got here. Okay, somewhere here. Um, you've seen it, you've seen it enough times. I'm saying... I'm on the foot. I'm saying, the fraud is right through the country. It's that big and right through the world. John Key libeled this country. He libeled this whole country and the banks and the government and the Crown and the Queen and Air New Zealand and ANZ Bank. He's the chairman of the ANZ Bank New Zealand and he's one of the directors of Air New Zealand. He's libeled them, I'm, I'm citing them, with this big 970 million trillion trillion pound note here on it here. Now there's the title, the Monetary title there, the Wainor, the Rogan, the Patrick title, right here. Okay? And I'm saying these down notes here, I'm citing them against this. The Waitangi National Trust, the Ngāti O Oraki Trust, the Ngāti Whātua O Kaikara Trust, Te Rorua Trust, Ngāti Kawa Trust on Te Ti Marae, Ngāti Rahiri Trust, Te Ti Marae Trust, the CEOs of all these trusts, all the CEOs that are running treaty claims in this country, all inside this 970 million trillion trillion pound note, are making this statement. There's no one that's refuting it, no one's saying anything because they can't. Okay, so I'm saying that's the title. That's in all these citations. Once they become legal, contract, defaulted contract on the Waitangi National Trust, defaulted contract. That means in the private with this flag. I'm using the flag on them and its authority inside this Confederation of Chiefs Whakababa title. Yeah. With Moi Manajau standing here, he's left me with everything. He signed it over on the business side of contracts. Okay, everything I've signed with him. We signed these documents with him. This one. This is the title to New Zealand. Here, right here. Of the four main tribes here. And the other tribes, Waitaha and Pahia tribes. Right? And the Moriori tribe as well. All the Puke, all in there, and that's who I'm speaking for. I'm speaking for the Moriori's because they can't speak for themselves, as it's commercial. Everything I do is commercial. So I'm saying this that what I've just saw on the news tonight sparked me off. I'm going to ring Morris and tell him now. My mate Morris, tell him the good news. Okay, so while we're here, before the video runs out, I'm just making these public notifications of happenings. Serious, very serious. Very serious. Because people are starting to watch these videos now. It's for their own interest to ask questions about what I'm saying. Ask questions about what I say on videos on Facebook, then you'll see who jumps, who's nervous, Ratna Church is nervous, see, because they are helping to defraud the public of New Zealand. I'm here for the public of New Zealand. I'm not here for Maoris. I'm not here for Maoris. I'm here for the public of New Zealand 
I'm here for the original natives of New Zealand, not Maori, because Maori is a tribe that belongs to the Crown, New Zealand, New South Wales, pirates and ex-convicts prisoners. So those, all those ones in Wellington are ex-convicts prisoners of that legacy. Okay, I'm saying they have committed themselves into treason against us in running their own private companies' interests counter to our interests here, the public of New Zealand, and this racket going on in there, playing around with the money that they're carving off for themselves, and a good measure of kickbacks from somebody. So I'm saying one has libeled the other, has libeled the other, and the government gets its authority from that marae. It goes into Waitangi, it goes through Titi Marae, they've crossed out going to Titi Marae, that was Bill in Bruce, so he's liable too. They're, they're all in it, they can't, they can't get away with it. The same with the United States. I'm just accusing Trump now, online. He's saying no one's to say something that's not true. See what happens when I'm saying things about him. He's going to hang for treason. See, if he doesn't do anything about what I'm saying about him, then what does that make his statement? He doesn't have a king. I have a king. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking king talk. How did he get there? I'm saying, where do you get your authority from? He's going to land up on one or the other king. Now he's trying to reach back into the Commonwealth that they left. They left the scene of the battle and went on their own. No matter how big the United States is, its authority of birth came from a king. And that's why I'm saying King William gave us this flag because he knew we were going to fix that all up in the end. He didn't trust his own people in Britain because he spent 50 years in the Navy setting up the stock exchange in New York. It was the Rothschilds and the Queen and her royal family that came and made, turned everybody into pirates. This was supposed to be meant for pirates. Now we're going to turn this back onto the pirates. We are identifying pirates and calling their names. I'm calling their names. John Key, um, Peter Paroni, all those people on, on the Marais that have given you a hard time. Those trustees on Titi Marais, you're, you're going for a big skate with this guy, right, mate? Mahana, Apiata, you go for a big skate. That's not even your land over there, you're on, on that block. The Apiatas don't come from me. I know who's I've got all the titles here. I've got all the signatures to say who's who. I was in the trust there. I was in the trust with Harry Williams or Harry Utton. He was in the Confederation with me. You fellas never been in the Confederation. You fellas wouldn't know how this commerce works. You wouldn't have a clue because I've got it all here. You don't know how this works. That's why you're so kicking the heads about how things run properly. This confederation here, that. See, you fellas weren't in this. I was, right back. Okay, as far back as 2000, the year 2000. Well, in fact, I was really in it in 2003, before 2004, Foreshore Sea Band Act. That's when I went in. You know, I'm going to ring Morris again. Oh, his phone's off. I'm hoping to get him, but he's on the phone. Or oh, got his phone turned off because he doesn't want anybody ringing him. Now I want to ring him and catch him on this video before it runs out. Um, so I'm saying this. We have already billed everybody in the world against this note. It doesn't matter how much I put on it. It's still going to come down to the mass amount of debt on anyone. You see those people on... Peter Peroni, they've got a trillion pounds on their head, right, as a bounty on the head, a contract on their head. Right? If you've got a contract on your head, Peter Peroni, a trillion pounds on a birth certificate, that's just the birth certificate. You forfeit everything, because you can't refute what I'm saying. I'm saying things about your name and you're not doing anything about it. You know what happens when it comes apostolized? 
it becomes the law. That trillion pounds is on your head. On all you people in the trust in this country, in the Iwi Maori Trust, you all have one trillion pounds on your head. That's not even the land or the fish or anything else. Okay? And that minus is all here. You know what happened? <coughs> Everything you own is taken off you. Right? That, you, you fellas, I've been warning you all along. I've been warning you fellas. Just went in one ear out the other. Well, too bad. This is how we've been treated. This is how the normal people have been treated in this country and around the world. The same way as you thugs are the ones perpetuating this corruption and fraud business of the Queen. Okay? The Queen gets that on her when I get there to England because she's the one behind all the scam with the rock dogs. She made her family's made to look good, but I tell you what, it's evil. That's what I'm saying to Ronnie Freedom. Oh, Morris is not there. He's got his phone off because he doesn't want to ring anybody. Oh, he doesn't want anybody ringing him because he's becoming popular of what we are doing. So I'll, I'll ring him later, but I'll just finish this video off by saying um, that number one, this video, this article, just fresh this up into half past five is serious. It is serious on these lands. With any fraud, I'm trying to expose the fraud. The more that I expose or publish, questions are asked. Right now, the serious office goes in and checks. You watch what they find. You watch what they find, and that's why they're nervous up there in the trust. The trust, you better be on your guard, ready to go to court. My court is online. It's a court trial by media. I'm getting media attention with 1474 videos on YouTube and 97 out of 107 Facebook sites and other websites that are spinning over this lot. I've let them spin it over because they're making money out of it. I should be making money out of the videos, but I'm not. I'm not about making money yet. I'm making money with the people to um, put them back on their lands. I'm, I'm talking about all the people. The Maori is just an invention of the Crown, which is caught up in this Waitangi National Trust. That's a government-run organisation. It's themselves that are running the racket. It's catching them up. And now, serious fraud office, I won't make a complaint. Someone will complain about Ngāti Whātua Ōraki downtown. Now that's the bigger fish in the sea. That's the biggest scam there right there. So I'm waiting till someone gets a complaint in to the serious board office and go and investigate that trust at the same time. When you're doing that one, then go and investigate Nagifato O Kaipara, Ti Uri Aho, go and investigate one. Because you'll get to eight million of Graham Latimer bought the hotel up there. Right? He bought the hotel in Mohito. I've got it all written down. I've written everything that Mohi said. You'll be surprised how much money they made. And uh, 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 there was one of the um, speaker of the house was he's got land up in um, Rogan's Hill on the way to uh, Dagenham. I just forget what his name is. Anyway, he was speaker of the house. Smith. Smith. Lockwood Smith. Lockwood Smith. Right. Lockwood Smith. You're sighted. Because I was up there with Mohi Manigal and I know where your place is. All that land that you got, that Mohi said it's all Manikau land. You must have said the whole place country is Manikau land. Their names all over the place with the Parapos. And I saw some other clips of Manikau's name there as well, but no history. There's no history about Lefrik Manikau or Terawakato Whareheri Manikau from Pohara Park, Manai, and the Big Rock. 
I'm just putting things on Facebook about that. And my father-in-law, Peter Mihinui, from there, my father-in-law, my own father-in-law from there and the family there that I spent time with when I was living there after my work in Kinley's Mills in Tuckeroa. I uh, always went there with our family, my family, to Pōharaka and stayed there with Peter's family. That's um, 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 part of the time I spent there. I'm going back there to hook that marae back up to Mangatauturi Mountain from Tainui. They've got a Mangatauturi marae. It's not the right marae. It's not the right way. It's been fashioned by these thugs in the Iwi Maori Trust. The CEOs, all the CEOs in the treaty claims, you're getting this, you've got to get this bounty on your heads. So how I'm going to do it, I'll do it through the British. Dual federal state government. This is a federal state flag. For the whole world. In the Commonwealth. British Commonwealth. That's just the flag. Okay? So it's changed the, the guard. You've got to lock those people up. You've got to lock them up. Lock Peter Peroni up. Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock those people. Uh, uh, hey, hey. Lock them up. Big mouth. Really Taylor. All the big mouths. Really Taylor. Your, your mouth, Really Taylor. You're watching this video. You're the biggest mouth out up there. That got in my fucking robe. I can swear to you. Because your big mouth was full of bullshit. Just what. Um, what's his name said? Harris. Holy Harris. Saying they're all bullshit. Well, he's right. And that's the sort of language that's acceptable in today's world. You better swear it doesn't hurt. But the truth comes out. The only way to get the truth out of someone is to swear at them and make them commit themselves to what they're doing. And start asking questions. Public, public start asking questions. What have you done? Where's the money? and you'll find that they've stolen. The thugs, the Maori themselves, I'm, I'm not saying all Maori, I'm saying the ones that are running trusts, all of them, all of them running the trusts. So they're going to be accountable. From now on, I don't have to do much, I'll just keep reporting and questions start getting asked. You see, so we're fighting back people, the King's people, are fighting back in the most proper way without a bullet being fired. Okay, so I'll try it once again, one more time. Let's see if you see it, huh? I'm making these videos because I am always keep track of what I do so you know what I'm doing, it's what they do. You don't know. Mr. Morris? Yes, Mrs. John? Did you hear the news? What? You didn't watch the news. Guess, uh, what, guess what happened? What's the matter? Waitangi Marae is in trouble. That's right. Yeah, I was expecting something that is going to show up sooner or later. Well, the, the right. Waitangi Ma National Trust, the Waitangi National Trust and Peter Peroni, who I've been moaning about all the time, yeah. is under investigation by the Serious Fraud Office. The trust itself is on the news and I'm just reading it on online now on the news. It's big news. It's, it's serious because it's going to libel everybody. All the trusts and the Mary Ewe Trust. It's going to libel everybody because that's, it's saying in the news that that's of national interests and that's run by the government and Peter Perone. So he's in trouble. The whole lot of them. The Titi Moro is in trouble too. Yeah, because someone will say, well, let's go and investigate that one. Next minute they'll go and investigate Tūriho. And they'll go and investigate Nāti Whātua. All the things that I'm saying are crooked in there. You see? And then that leaves, that leaves the gate open for me to go straight into Cook Street and pull the thing off them and change everything. See? Yeah, no, no. I'm confident in what you do. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be leaving. Oh, man, there's no way you see it. 
Yeah. 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 You don't need them. That's that's going to send ripples right through Ngāpui because they always believed that that's where the mana was in those marae. So I tell you what, it's starting to show up all the fours in the cracks. The cracks is starting. This one here, that they, they turned over 35 million in 2016. That's a lot of money, and there's some massive money missing out of it. So what is this? That's only a fraction of it. When they go and dig deeper, they'll find all the rest of it. It's in the bloody billions. It's in the billions. All these years, they'll find, they'll ask questions. They're going to end up with the Queen in the racket as well. Because they're running it for the Queen. They're her Maori people. You see? You see what I mean? Yeah, it's just the business. But it's caught, it's caught up with them. Yeah, it's caught up with them. I'm just, I'm just reading the bloody thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. No, we are British. We're, we're, we're clear of all that. They're, they're the ones that have got a problem. they got a big problem. Oh no, uh, I, 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 like you said, I'm not going to back off. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get, get, go and cozy up. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, go, go soft on it. I'm, I'm going to hit them. You see, it says here, Waitangi National Trust, the organisation that administers the Waitangi Treaty Ground, says an inquiry is underway into financial irregularities in its accounts. Dennis McBurty, acting chairman, see they've got another chairman now, they took out Peter Peroni, is replaced by this acting chairman of the Waitangi National Trust Board, confirmed that an investigation was conducted as soon as the irregularities was discovered by the organisation. See, the government did a, well, uh, a check on them. That had been passed to Sirius Ford Office to make its own inquiries. The matter is now with the Sirius Ford Office, SFO, and will await findings of their official inquiry. We are unable to comment any further pending the outcome of the SFO inquiry. Brea Tree said he believed the irregularities were relatively recent and had only become apparent in the last month. So this this news item only came out at half past five this afternoon, right? It's a, it's a thought the transactions were in a 12-month period starting in 2016, now it's further than that. The problem was picked up during routine analysis. They're going to find fucking heaps of money missing, man. The SFO usually deals with frauds of more than five million or with significant public interest. The sum involved in this case is believed to be less than five million, but the SFO became involved because of the high price. Hey? Like, just, just, uh, what Everybody's involved. All the trustees will be investigated at the same time because everything gets its approval from Waitangi Marae, from that national trust for the whole country. That's why they go there to get authority to use the, the Marae and the Maoris and the leaders of the Maori to give the government consent to govern. They go there to get permission to govern. See? You see? And the, 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 the thing is this, <clears throat> that's why everybody's well, nervous. Well, they got interesting. I don't know, I don't know. Well, they got interesting to go, well, what's that? I don't know. What's that? They, what's that? It might be a good thing to go and have a look. Well, what are they still going to carry on and have the white tongue? You think I'll be a white tongue? Oh, everything I'll carry on is normal. It's just, I'm just talking about the business. Who's running the business and, and what's that liable against somebody else? That's what I'm saying. They've They've gone and corrupted the land and everything in that marae. So, so, so the, thing, the government's got a problem because those are their people. They're, they're, the government's running it. It's running a racket and, and falling apart. See? So, so all I'm saying is, all I'm talking about in that marae, we opened up as a native court, it's, it can check what's happening in there. So someone has... Or, or someone has reported it to the serious court office. I don't know who it would be to, to say check the counts. Maybe somebody inside inside the Mariah itself uh, made a complaint to the serious court. Somebody has to make a complaint. See? So whether they're reading what I'm saying 
or not, but they're getting confident to do it. See, something made them confident to go and speak up. And they are complaint. The serious court officer will only get involved if the public or somebody complains. So now that it's become serious, and that re they've, they've replaced Peter Peroni. He's the culprit that's, for all these years, he's the one that's been ripping us off. Him and the Ratna Church. See? It's between the Ratna Church and him. They're the one, and Kingi. Kingi's in it too. Kingi always, always makes out he's not in it, he's in it. He's acting on both sides. He's working for the radio station, which is the Crown, and, and Willie Jackson. They don't care about anybody. They just carry on flipping this thing over about Rahiri. They just keep spinning the Rahiri story. You see? The British are not concerned with Rahiri, only, only the government here, because they made it up. They made all that up. You see? Yeah, so, so I'm just, I'll just let you know. And I say, Holy hell, this time to get caught. <laughs> and you watch the next. The next yeah, one. Yeah, they totally Yeah, so they'll be they'll be worrying too because it's it, 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 they're involved in trust too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're involved with trust, stuck in the middle of it as well. Oh shit! My phone went off. Bass. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to swear on the thing, but no, I am swearing. I'm going to back I'm going to put my phone on. Because it went flat. There we go. I'm charge it. I'll wait for it to come back. I might film or run out soon. Yeah, it's got some battery in there now. So I'm just talking to Morris about how serious I talk online. How serious now he'll find what they're talking about up there in uh, those Maori groups up there, they'll, they'll, they'll be all split in heads now because they can't handle something that big. They can't handle things that big. Right, me up. I'll try and finish this video off with him a little bit more. Your phone is connected now. Okay, now I'll finish it off. Then. I should have put on a charger. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, Morris, I'm not on phone with Fred. Yeah, that, that, that's why I went off. I just put it back on the charger, so I can finish off. So I can finish off what I'm what I'm saying. So 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 now, Porahou and them will 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 be looking at that of some sort of plan they they'll have of of countering what's happened. Yeah, they'll they'll be they'll, they'll, they'll it'll affect them because of the trust. They're all in trust. And, and yeah, yeah, it's good on you because all So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they 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 will be having meetings now about their leader. They, 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 you see, what's happened is this. It's Irahiri is in question now because of Paraoni and his long standing using that Rahiri in Titi Marai as their